So close to finishing this. Very close. Very, very close. cleaning here and there. My Discord server died. I'm lucky. face a little smaller. I think he was just monstrously huge. Uh, yesterday, I I haven't been able to get into the Discord. Like it, like it tells me, like look, it tells me messages failed to to load, and like I couldn't send a message just now. I'm not even sure if this one went through. Um. Serial experiment lean. I think the perspective is a little bit better this time. Um, it's better. Some parts are, some parts seem to be out of perspective. Um, you have to be careful when you do things like this. like they're all standing on top of each other but this one isn't turned to towards you instead it's um it's like bent so that's kind of a problem uh, it's difficult to say like there's parts of the perspective that are working way better than before but like the figure in perspective A 
it, it also doesn't remind me of uh, <laughs> Serial Experiment Lane, but, you know. doesn't have anything that's, like, kind of reminiscent of it, to be honest. Although I haven't watched that anime in, like, a million years. Uh, yeah, so I think some, some of the parts are, like broken in perspective like you would have to do like a grid to figure out exactly what is broken um difficult to do there's, there's clearly something wrong here see this line right here is that the corner? Because when it's very difficult to like, if that is the corner, then it's very difficult for the viewer to reconstruct that in his mind. Like, there's not enough tells, and it has like a parallel line here that it's the only parallel line. So there's no like. So it kind of looks like. This line could actually be like like going to this way and that could be a problem. So easiest way to solve it, take it out. It's a long line tangent. Take that out as well. I don't know if you've ever seen a window, but they usually end near the window. Um so that is a issue the, the fact that the corner is there like exactly in in that position um, and it's also kind of lifting up the floor plane so you don't want to do that you want to drop it down to where the floor plane is actually closer to closer to perpendicular so it's way easier to do this uh, when it's like closer to um, closer to that something like that when you start tilting it um, you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot of weird errors like this um, <laughs> like this desk that's you know if if this is the corner like this is it almost looks like it's floating so it's like there's a lot of parts here and if if that is the corner the rest of it kind of also looks like it's floating um, these parts um, they kind of look like they are not, they're not all together because this corner ends and like this shape begins. Um, so this part looks like it's floating. Like you could, you could mess around with that. You could, for instance, push this desk forward closer. You should, you should be able to see more of the top too, I think. Because look, look at this. You should have like almost the same thing. This is even higher. So. You should you should be able to like see a little bit of this thing. I don't know. So that's what that's what I would try to do to like quickly quickly fix it. I don't know. This perspective is difficult to do on a bad day. So I would I would I would like flatten it out so it's easier. Um, because right now your horizon line is not at the bottom of the window. It's actually somewhere here. Um, I could stop color picking. Because you can see, you know, this is a sphere, right? This is a sphere. You're seeing the top of it, it looks like. This is, a, um, you're, you're seeing like a lot of the top of it. Like if this is, what's it called? This is her back. You're seeing a lot of the top of it. This is the top of that object. Um, you're seeing a lot of the top, your original one. You're seeing a lot of the top of the thing. So you're, your horizon line is pretty low. You are you're looking at things like from the top. This one is incredibly exaggerated. And you start you start to lose some of that like around here. So again, like and this because of that some of it doesn't doesn't make any sense because this you should see like a little bit more of the top. Um, you should you, you if you see it here and it's like it's basically parallel. Like if you were to draw like a triangle between them. They, it'd be like almost as if these are on almost the same like distance so that like the the perspective breakdown 
like it's hard here it's difficult i this perspective is difficult i would not not i mean you can do it but you have to you have to follow it all the way and some of these objects feel like they're not following that perspective so that's like the main thing once you have that then uh everything else you know you can you can Throw in as many items as you want, that's fine. But the perspective has to really, really, really be nailed down. And that's what I that's what I think when I'm looking at this image, is that there are perspective errors and you could do better with that. But yeah. I don't know. For that, I feel like you would need you would need like I would get like I would make that I would make that reference. I can I can do this. I can make this reference. Um, you would have to like, and then you could, you could like get a real photo of, um, I don't know, this is going to be difficult to, okay, let's go interior, um, room night time, um, see how it's flat, this is already like easier, um, because most people like, most people perceive the world at eye level, they don't perceive it from, you know, like bird's eye view in in the room that person is seven feet tall he's looking down you know um so it it starts to like it starts so you could take something like this and then you could apply um the what's it called not a 3d one because like the 3d ones like they may have like some kind of brain dead error that you can't really put your finger on but they're um, okay, so this this perspective, sort of like this. See, it's much it's much flatter. The you don't you don't get the what's it called as much um, like from the top look. Um, you would need something that's like. See, this is like you looking down. This is kind of what you're going for, which is uh, you know good. I like that perspective, um, but you, you are tilting down. But see, this one. Um, the horizon line is, is like, like at the center here, it's, it's high. And so, um, let me see here. Horizon line is like about somewhere like right in the middle there. So you can still start, you, you see st stuff, like stop, like being seen. Like right here, this, this is, you can no longer see the top of it. So that's kind of like where the horizon line is. It's like right there somewhere. And it's far away. So you, you can really kind of place yourself in the scene. Um, I don't know. This perspective is hard, man. I, I, it's very good, though. It's very, like, strong. Um, it's very challenging. What I would do is... You would have to work with photos, unfortunately. It's not something you can, like... Of the, because of the amount of, like, from the top, of how objects appear from the top, and you're not used to looking at them, it's difficult to, you know, imagine and then draw them. So I would, I would take a photo that's good already. I would take this photo. It's, like, perfect, you know. I would take this photo. Where's my image? I didn't, fuck, I didn't save it. Because, like, it's good to do, like, a trial run. You know, you do, um, you do, like, this. And, it, like, this step right here. This. Here. This is perfect. You, you tried it. You know, you have the idea. You understand what you're going for. Um, and then you say, okay, how do I make this, like, work in, what's it called? And it, ideally, you would, you would make it work before, but, like, we're, we're all human. Me, personally, I don't think I would be able to make it work. So, what I would just... I would just do is like, I would just fucking steal all this shit. Cause like, if I tried this perspective, I think I would, I think I would fail. So I recommend that you, um, I recommend that you also see, steal the environment, add the characters. Yeah, of course. I would also steal a character. <laughs> I'll be honest. In this scale and perspective, this is very difficult. 
I would not I would not do it. I would not do it because um Can I make it like Can I like erase the white somehow? You know what? What if I drop it down to like 20 opacity? 50 opacity. Um and I would just like I would go in there and I would I would like fix my drawing. I'd be like, "Okay, well, you know, I'm looking down, right? I'm looking down. So look, I, I already I can see like where, um, where my perspective like should be. And I have like I have these objects that are actually kind of good. The, the photo is a lot, you know. It has like, um, you know, has has composition built in, so you can steal some of it. You don't have to steal all of it. Uh, but the the biggest problem is going to be these rectangles, like for the shoulder. Like I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, that's gonna take like I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take a photo probably. I'm not sure how to estimate this this square. I'm not sure, like, but I know that it would be something like that. And then you know, I would go. And I would go down the line. You know. And obviously these are just like small boxes here. Not going to. Um, and then I would try to get my gesture in there and really focus in on my, uh, what's called, I already have this line, so I know that this this rectangle is gonna be less, um, it's closer to the, what's called, I know it's gonna be less than what's called, less than that one. Um, it's gonna be more, you can still see it probably, but it's gonna be less than this. You're not gonna see it like this. And so I use these rec I use I would use these rectangles to estimate the other rank. That's what makes this this is why it appealed to me, this image, is because it has a rectangle built in. Once you have that, you can like estimate all sorts of shit. Like you can like you can do a lot. See how they hid the corner here? There's no corner. You don't you don't see it? Your brain, um, it's easier to like uh, what's it called? It's easier to like comprehend. Like it, there's there's a corner there, but this thing hides it. It could be here. It could be here. I don't know. It doesn't perfectly end where the the thing is. I'm I'm sure of it. You know. Hey Arnes, how's it going? I'm uh, just breaking apart a uh, a process, I guess. So I would I would do it that way. I would I would redo parts of the perspective to. Until you, till you see it, and then you're like, oh, okay. And so, cause now that you have this, you're like, you look over here, and you're like, oh, well, this doesn't make any sense. Look at this rectangle. I can just redraw that now, right? Um, so this is gonna be, you know, it's gonna be following this line, right? Well, or very close to it. Um, so that's you definitely wouldn't see this much of the thing, right? You couldn't. You wouldn't see that. You would see less of this than you would see of that, as it's like almost above. And so that that really helps build. Like with complex perspectives, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to do it. So I at this point I've kind of consoled myself to um, just like you know sometimes you gotta use a photo. You know if I if I can't do it then you know I can't do it. What am I gonna do? Just not draw it. That's that's really my choice, and I have enough perspective knowledge to make it work. Like I understand um, enough of it to make it work, and then so that's kind of how I would how I would do it. Unfortunately, it's I mean it's cheating, but it's like it's good cheating because you you will learn this way. You in in fact the more you do it this way, the easier it is for you to spot these types of errors. Because like I'm looking at this, I didn't really need a photo to spot the errors. I could see that there were errors. I just can't. You know, tell you exactly what it is. You can steal, like, you don't have to steal everything. You don't have to steal this box. You can get rid of it. But you should definitely use it because, like, if you duplicate this box, you keep duplicating it. Fuck, I missed. Hold on. Let me try to hit it. Let me try to hit it. Hold on, no. Let me try to hit. If you try to duplicate this box, like, you, you should be able to create a whole perspective. Let me try to hit it. Hold on just from like one box alone like one square is enough like there's a page in scott robinson's book that describes this process you can't hit it 
I'm fucking blind. I'm gonna try it again. Hold on. Nope. Oh, I'm gonna do it one of these days. I'm gonna hit it. One of these fucking shots. Come on. I'm blind. Literally blind. I gotta freehand it. Fuck it. Alright. Yeah, that was about it, actually. Yeah, something like that. And then, um... Funny how I did it freehand a little better. And then, like, if you... Ugh! Ugh, no, I can't do it, no. And so if you duplicated that box, you would be able to, like, really see, like, you know, perspective-wise, like, where things are. And it, it's it's a good guide, I think. You know, you could, and you could, once you have a box, you can, you know, put it in any direction. I can't, I can't do it. It's close enough, whatever. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. I would use as much of that as possible. Because, like, you know, and then it's just connecting the dots. Perspective is, like, probably hell. The worst, the worst, the worst. It's the worst. I hate it. Don't like it. Would rather not do it. Unfortunately, there's no way to get away from it. So. Alright. Let me take a sip of beer. Continue working on my furry. Yeah, it's good. It's a good fun. It's a good fundamental to nail down like early as as early as you can, because it's not like it's not really something that you could just start with perspective. No one really wants to start with perspective. I don't think that's like a, um. I don't think that's like a very accessible thing, but it's probably like one of it's probably the most important fundamentals, I feel like. I still suck at it. I'm, you know, but I'm getting better. Eventually I'll figure it out. I'll be like, haha, got him. lines are clear at least yeah most of them are pretty clean especially for the hard surface stuff the character <laughs> the character is a little lacking but the like the boxes look pretty clean the the problem was that they were like in the wrong um, perspective but otherwise um, they were pretty clean yeah I don't like I don't like I don't like drawing man I'm just like the worst the perspective and drawing is like my worst the worst two skills don't be like me Learn, learn perspective like early on put it into everything because even like though even with, when you have the worst ideas and terrible like designs and stuff but the perspective is nice people are like oh look at this the perspective it's so good they don't know it's perspective but they know that it's like oh this looks right my friend <sighs> and yeah I'm not having a good time I feel like everything is kind of meh right now. It must be like the autumn. I don't know if you guys get like fucking seasonal feeling of awful. I don't know what to call it. It just doesn't feel good. I am not feeling good. But otherwise... Otherwise, this project is is getting there. I feel like which layer am I on? Am I on the wrong layer? Please tell me on the on, am I on the am I on the wrong layer? Did I do all that on the wrong layer? Please tell me not. I didn't do that. Please tell me I didn't do that all on the wrong. Yeah, I did. I did. I did it all on the wrong layer. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Why is that on the wrong layer? This can merge in. That's... That's good. Okay. <sighs> yeah, the perspective is better than the last time. For sure. Like, I can see that you're working on it. Uh, and you're really paying attention to it. Uh, 
um for sure like definitely definitely better than last time but uh yeah keep, keep working on that that's the important thing I kind of got burned out on New World. I think I played it a little bit too much. I think I played it a little bit too much. I think I um, I think I might be burned. I feel like I get burnt out on everything. And I, I took a, a little break to play Rust. Now I'm burnt out on Rust. Just burnt out all around, man. Not not doing good. What do I do? What do you do for us? What do you mean? I build, I roam, kill people with bows. Might have a gaming addiction. Maybe. Gaming addiction. Either that or gamers need to rise up. Could be that gamers just need to rise up. I don't know, I think it's like, it's very loose the way like you would have to define addiction in order to get to gaming addiction for me. But I guess you could, I guess you could do that. I feel like we'd be arguing about the semantics of the words though. Like when does it start being an addiction? something a hobby when when is it one when is it the other I think this is good, just rendered wrong. Hmm. Gaming addiction is when you game. I guess a line would have to do with the neurochemistry. Like, common addiction comes to a hit with the dopamine. Food, video games, gambling, and substance abuse. Anything can be an addiction. Um, that's what makes it like so difficult to really isolate something and say, ah, this, this is unhealthy. This is pathology. I think that would, I think you would have to say something like, um, this is causing harm to 
the person and uh, those around him and then once you say that you could say then you know then that is pathological at the very least the addictive part um, would have to be that it's you can't stop doing it so not only is it harmful and it um, it has to also be uncontrollable so I think that those two things those two elements are very important But otherwise, yeah, anything can be an addiction. I want to get rid of this finger. Too many fingers. withdrawal uh, withdrawal period okay yeah yeah I agree with that sure there's psychological withdrawal and there's also there's physical withdrawal so those are different like the the withdrawal from something like caffeine isn't just psychological it's also physical and there's a part of physical that blends with psychological and you can actually have psychologically induced pain it's hard to disentangle those two elements I feel like Guys looking fly. I like it. I like it. He's got it going. He's got a lot of good stuff going on. At least this is going good. Uh, I'm taking a break from the gym. I just like there's too much. There's too much. It's like I'm just, I don't know if I'm gonna get enough sleep. What? But I'm just like dead all the time. Need to. I feel like I want to rest. Um, develop like anger issues. It's not good. Not having a good time. Seasonal mood swings. I don't know about that. This rack came out better than the rest. I might have to actually like work up the other ones to make them look as good as this one. 
All right, let me take a look. up a little bit. Yeah, he's looking pretty dapper though. some of the greens from this one into this one make it a little bit less
just return to savagery. This This is like white supremacy in a 50 second video, implying that uh, there was like fat activists. Hold on, uh, now this video. Hold on, if I could just. Implying that this is not beautiful. Uh, and, you know, fucking men who are muscled up and like. The results might not be what you're looking for. No, this is it. <laughs> it really isn't, but it is also is. Bro, when you need a when you need a cane, that's uh that's healthy, man. You just don't understand. The the weight on your joints, it's making you like grind better. Cause you're just you're just like fucking you're you're not grinding enough. You're not you need to Looking good is white supremacy. You are a white supremacist, my friend. Even though you're not even not even white, probably. <laughs> By any definition of what is white. People from Asia. White people. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> you don't have to be white to be a white supremacist. It just kind of helps, I think. It probably helps a little bit, right? Can we, like... We admit that it probably helps a little bit to be. All right, so this one, I feel like this one is almost finished. This one is just missing that slight render, a little bit of polish, make a new layer. Oh, you know what? The, the values are actually kind of good, so maybe we could just... Maybe we could just levels it and then call it a day. Let's see. I'm just, I, I won't be able to call it a day because there's, like, black, super blacks, and I'll have to, like, once I hit them at the levels, they're going to be, like... They're going to, like... The problem when you do this is you lose a lot of nuance in your values. It is a little dark, so we're gonna we're gonna pop a little bit, and we're gonna go back in and we're gonna re-render everything. I'm gonna use some of the skin tones I've acquired over the over this period. Oops. Let's go into this. Do a little bit of revamping. Give him a little bit of blush. Senpai, I'm stuck. Rare G only posts white supremacist propaganda. Lifting weights. Being in the snow. <laughs> Somehow. Well, the snow is white, you see, so. It's kind of weird. I don't know where where we are. I don't know where we're going. It's it's getting really really hard. It's getting really really hard. Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's getting real hard to understand. Yes, it is. Absolutely. 100%. Because, like, think about... Think about the type of... The type of value system you must inhabit. First of all, you have to make the distinction that there's a difference between healthy and unhealthy can't do that that's like that's no we're gonna eat potatoes and like the pasta 
Tomite. Vegetables. Pasta. Meat. We're losing weight. Yeah, I did. Anything else? No? You're good? Okay. What was I saying? Right, there's no distinctions. Everything is the same. Because that's how you arrive at, well, like, look. Well, I have these values. Those are right wing values. Okay, you're you're a right winger somehow. I don't I don't know how it's gotten this way, but I feel like that's how it is. I feel like that's how it is. I don't know if um I don't know if it's gonna change because it's like oh, we've been kind of going towards this. Everyone you meet online is like, well, you're just med medicalizing, or you're just like, um, you're you're not respecting people. Um, it's like it's a, it's a very unhealthy culture, and when you say that the the culture is unhealthy, it's somehow an attack on those people that inhabit that culture. You're making a value judgment, you see. And then you become phobic. You're, you have a phobia of this thing. You know, being morbidly obese, you're, you're fat phobic. Um, is culture common in your workplace? With I don't really talk to anyone other than my boss. So I don't, I don't know. I don't really want to talk about easy they don't expect much from us I don't think um, I think the expectations are pretty low so I've been just doing the standard you know what everyone else is doing
that's kind of where I'm at with it. I'm not really pushing for anything really. I'm just kind of relaxed. Work is is mostly relaxing. It's just you talk to people or you do paperwork. That's basically it. That's all of it. Yeah, it's it's a job. One of the better jobs, like out of out of like all the shit that you could be doing, like as a as a waged worker, it's not bad. Got off my. Uh... got a big pot a lot of money involved so just working like 14 hours a day i i think i prefer um i, I prefer like working for a boss because then i don't have to work um any harder than he works most of the time and most people aren't that hard working if i was the boss i would be doing I was, if I was just given the opportunity to just decide at which pace everything gets done, um, I'd probably, I'd probably break my back, and probably wouldn't see a lot of benefit from it. Um, probably would not see a lot of benefit from it. I don't think, I don't think I should be doing anything entrepreneurial, thing like that. And I'm a grinder. I like to grind. You can see it in anything I do. Um, I just, I just grind. Whether it's a video game, I will do like 18 hour shifts. a lot of burnout for me the problem is that it, when i get burned i can do a lot but then I, i'm like a i'm the candle that burns i can i can do like one thing a lot for a while and then i burn out like very quickly too and then i just like just not for you. Take a little bit of off the top there. Like right 
I might want to. I like that shape a lot. I'm gonna use that there. Cause they're supposed to be more like bat ears, not like cat ears. Monkey see, monkey do. Small, small, oh no, okay. Where did that, um, little pint of white come from? That shouldn't be there. All right, cool, I'll just keep drawing. Oh no, oh no, no, no. I gotta lock these layers. Okay, we are doing good. We are doing good today. Oh no. Did it do it again? No. Wait, where's this layer? 
Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, merge those. Got like too many layers. Some of the rendering, I, I want to introduce like some of the ideas here that I borrowed from Amundsen, like using um, saturation as my like blending. Is that a nunchuck he's holding? No, it's a comma. They're similar but different. Same, same, but kind of different, you know? Now, the, the reason I like Rust is because there's like an opportunity to make um, what's called plays. Um, that, like, I feel like it's not, it's not as prevalent in any other game. And so, Here's an example of a of a place. This is like, you know, something that really shouldn't happen. I feel like. Um, so this guy killed me. He's standing over my body. He's looting me. And my teammate is is crouching up to him, and he, he he's about to turn to leave. He turns. He sees my teammate, but as as he sees him, I'm like, quick! How how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a wood could chuck could chuck wood? And he's just like, what? Huh? And then my teammate claps him in the back. <laughs> and he's like, oh no! He, it was so funny that he was like, oh, that was well played. That <laughs> was really well played. You guys got me. <laughs> it was perfect. He wasn't even mad that, you know, he lost. Even though, technically, he, in the game of skill, he bested me. Um, but the play uh, my teammate was able to do because of exceptional role-playing we'll call it and that's kind of you know something that you can't really do in, in every game you do it in like basketball start talking smack to people Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting, kind of fun. Any game with the voice comms you can do it in, I guess. But the game centers around asymmetrical warfare, like you are almost always against bigger odds, uh, with, you know, lower numbers, with, like, um less gear less everything and you're supposed to kind of just you know let it work make it work man Yep, the rendering is is rendering. The rendering do be rendering.
someone put in like nice little lights that are like blue to show that this is like a kind of a translucent. Add a little bit of like drop, a bit of a drop shadow. <clears throat> Just a little bit of like a finished rendering. I think like for the most part this is good. And now they all look about the same, about the same level. It's like very little difference if you like. We see the third one. Quality-wise. Okay, this guy's clearly a beta male. Beta male loser. I should have done it again. Drew on the wrong layer. Compared to this guy who's alpha. FDA authorizes Moderna and Johnson Johnson booster shots. Guess, well, he's just big headed. Manlet Alpha. <laughs> he's actually supposed to, she's, she is like tall. I had to like fit him in. She's the tallest, looks like. She's like 10 foot. Okay, and 
then as a showcase I think you'd need like a little bit more though if I took these and let's say all this duplicate layers to new okay did I not select the other two yeah I didn't Untitled. It's a little bit too much. Go reel it back in here a little bit. The rat pack. I think it's just because like he's small, like he's literally smaller because of his ears I had to like cut him down a little bit, I think. I'm just going to make him a little bigger. This doesn't fit. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what is this? Oh, that's on this layer. Yeah, that's on this layer. Oops. Okay, so that's like a showcase. And we got three figures. Amazing. Amazing. Do you love rat people? <laughs> no, I just have to... It's the rat pack. It's fun. Might tone down her. Should do it on this layer. Huh? Why are you on the same? Got rat arthritis. Didn't really get to develop his hands and stuff. You know, one thing I do want to work on before we call it quits is her tattoo. Um, I feel like that is.
think we are just about there. Do better. I'll give them all personalized name. Her name is uh, Ligma. Um, that one is Sagandis. And the last guy is just bees. Sugma. He's Sugma. Just uh, get some of that kind of like. I don't know what kind of tattoo I wanted here, but I don't like it. Don't like, don't like what happened. It's too dark. I wanted something very tribal. She'd probably be like topical. She worships the goddess of fire. Don't want it to literally be fire. It's too literal. Maybe some characters. Some, like scripture. Let's pop open like something they have like weird looking weird looking shit in there it's kind of like, like this thing it's just strange looking mm. can I just look there's like drawings in there. I want to see the cool drawings. Can you show me the cool drawings of the Quran? Quran arts. Let me see if there's. Yeah, there's there's like all kinds of shit like this. This is what I'm talking about. It's all very colorful. The reason I'm doing it is because it's like religious. Here, see, this is this is kind of what I'm looking for. Um, I like the colors too. Ah, uh, it says Allah Akbar.
Uh, God is great. Inshallah. I know a little bit of Arabic, not a lot. Like enough to probably curse someone out, not enough to like carry on a conversation past. I would like three of that, please. Thank you, Habibi. Expected something racist? What well, is racist? Or if we take the current definition of racism, affirming your own uh, culture, that's pretty racist. Affirming your own belief structure, that's, uh, I'm pretty sure they're white supremacists actually. Pretty sure that is what's going on there. And I like the the rim here. I really like the rim. If I could do that, that would be something. I don't think I can, but that is like very intricate and uh, I'm gonna copy some of the design from that and then it's kind of a mess right now but um give me like a couple hours of working on this tattoo There's a word to describe a person who hates a specific religion instead of a racist. <laughs> no, it's all racism. Uh, there's, uh, you could say, um, you're you're bigot, you're bigoted, you're xenophobic, you're. Um, There's so many words. You're a Nazi. <laughs> uh, you are anti-theist. Anti Anti-theistic, I guess. And copy some of the words, but not enough to, for it to like actually read. take out the, uh, the red still, I think. People do hate religion. Yeah, of course they do. Of course. People hate everything. All the time. Like, there's no... Hmm. 
Atheophobia. 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 Hmm. I'm not even sure if it's like, it's just, it's weird how it's like a phobia, right? That's always like a weird thing. They're, they're always like, oh, you're afraid of the thing. It's like, I don't know if you have to be afraid of it to hate it. This is literally cultural appropriation right now. What, what, what I'm doing right now, it's literally cultural appropriation, just so you know. Whites, why do they always gotta be stealing cultures? I don't know why I do it, man. I just gotta do it, I just gotta steal. Just gotta steal. Politics, politics are, are absolutely an addiction. But you're not really addicted to politics. You're not engaging in politics. You're engaging in uh, infotainment. You you don't actually you never engage in politics. That's the that's the 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 joy of it is that you never actually engage in politics. No one on Twitter has done anything political ever. Like the maximum. I don't know, like, the maximum that they've done is they've burned a uh, trash can somewhere. Perhaps a trash can was burned. Poor trash can. Set on fire. Call it. But no, almost no one has actually um, engaged in meaningful political change, um, and like I don't know if you can even call what what they do online like politics. It's a lot of it's discourse. That's the new word that they love. It's discourse. It's a lot of discourse. Don't like dialectic or anything like that. It's discourse that makes it new and fresh. Discourse. Sounds a lot like Discord. Because they do it on Discord.
have a backup here that you can look at. So we're still working on it, but I feel like this is much more, I'm much more about this. Yeah, I like this tattoo. It's just a little bit of like, um, clean up. Draw a little bit here. Kind of difficult, but we're almost there. Yeah, plenty of people hate the religious nowadays. Kind of cool to hate the religious for some reason. I think it needs like shapes. It's very difficult to
But yeah, if you look at your know, religious texts and the amount of work that they've inspired, you know, it's like got a whole lot of art, a lot of culture. People just kind of want to throw away. Say that, oh, well, actually. I realize this is an eye, like halfway through. Average religion respecter versus um, anti-religion fan. Hey, Fire Onyx, how's it going? Tattoo real quick. I think what I want to do is just like make a circle. a circle and then like use it it's like I don't like spheres I don't like them I don't like them I don't like them Wish you a good time on the art. Oh, thanks. Appreciate it. Well, I'd say we're having a good time. It's very slow going. I'm almost done with the rat pack. I need just a little bit more lettering. Maybe if I had like a bit space here, I could just put in.
Uh, the only problem is I think the um I'm not sure like I'm not sure how much of this like see because it's like uh, when it's actually a tattoo it's not gonna be like oh you know what I could do I could use her. I could use her color, like the guy the tattoo is using. Maybe I simplify it a little bit. Skin as like, yeah, I think I want to revert it to like true color, no golds. Because otherwise, it becomes too. I'm gonna hide the eye inside the tattoo and then the rest of it will be like... Black and blue. 
a little bit of like gold accent. Okay, I think it came out pretty cool. And before what that guy like did something bad. Who knows? He might just be a tattooed guy, but imagine. Okay. Cool tattoo. Okay, accomplished. Thank you. 
Hey, Hell Beckons, what's up? How is it going? You fought the end of the show? It's about to be 6 30. And I'm about to get out of here. Before I go, touches here. Now it's time for so long. Got a lot of work done today. Delete all the figures here. All right, you know what? I'm gonna just group them and hide them. That flattens out the face a little bit too much. All right, that's good enough.
on this side as well. Get it to the client, see what he thinks. JPEG. I'm gonna have to make all this. Pad is very big. Let's make it like 3,000 so that Discord doesn't crash. It's a little bit high for Discord, but... Finally done! <sighs> well, let's see. There might be a couple of changes that might have to be made. As far as if I'm happy with it, I think, I think we've done a good job here. <laughs> well, what do you want to stare at next stream? I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'll have to think of something else. Maybe I'll do. Uh, maybe I'll do an interior. God, I hate interiors. It's like the worst fucking thing. For an interior, you have to really know what you're designing. Like I. Oh, what is this? Oh, is this on the other layer too? Last second artifact. But yeah. We're done. line drawing interior that's not fun that's not fun for anyone to watch you're gonna hate that that's like super boring anyway thank you for coming i think we're done here today and then see you tomorrow hopefully